हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दी सी एस आर नेट दिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री टूडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्वाडेटिक फॉर्म क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द मैथमेटिकल स्टडी एग्जाम माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीशकर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल द डॉक्टर हरीशकर एंड द प्ले लिस्ट द सी एस आर यू जी सी नेट हेयर यू कैन सी द प्रीवियस ईयर मेमरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज द अदर लेक्चर्स रिलेटेड टू द दिसंबर सी एस आर नेट एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो यू कैन सी देर इज अ पी वाई क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द लास्ट ट्वेल्व ईयर विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट ट्विक्स एव इज अवेलेबल ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन दिस द क्वेश्चन दैट आई रिसीव फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट दैट अ क्वाडेटिक फॉर्म इज गिवन टू यू विच ऑर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर माई करेक्ट विच ऑर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज और आर करेक्ट हाउ यू कैन हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम आई एज आई टोल्ड यू इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर रिलेटेड टू द क्वाडेटिक फॉर्म विच इज अवेलेबल इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट यू कैन वॉच दैम and then you can easily solve this question within a 15 second how that's a very very interesting question how you can solve this question within a 15 second always remember that whenever there is a question of the non zero vector such that q of this is zero what does it means in all of these three cases what does it means it means can you think about any of the pair any of the pair so that this value of q will be zero and it, this number should be non zero so that means you are talking about the whether they are the positive definite or positive semi definite whether it's a negative definite or negative semi definite fine so how you can make the positive definite or negative definite i can write this into i can write this matrix into x transpose ax where a is my quadratic form so i can return this is diagonals are my one coefficient of x square y square and z square now this is my xy so this is the half of this half yz this is always a symmetric matrix fine or or you can write this matrix instead of that i can make as a two common so that it becomes a easier instead of taking the fraction i can take it as this pair fine now your target is to check whether this is a positive definite or positive semi definite if you prove that it is a positive semi definite then this option is correct fine so how you can check about that the first minor is 2 which is greater than 0 second minor is i can find that 2 by 2 that's a 4 minus 1 which is again greater than 0 look about the third the determinant of this is 2 times 4 minus 1 minus 1 2 minus 1 and plus 1 of 1 minus 2 so clearly say it's a 6 minus 1 minus 1 which is a greater than 0 and all are my strictly greater than 0 what does it means it is a positive definite so what what does it means of the positive definite it means there does not any u which is a non zero such that q of u is my zero fine but he said there exist so that means this option is cancel out there exists because this is on the u is belongs to the r so if there does not exist any if there does not exist any u in the r what does it mean there does not exist any u in the q now now they are talking about the c because r cube is a subset of this c cube so we can't say that it may be possible the matrix associated with the q that means when you write this matrix here so this is my a so that is basically this is my a is invertible and you can see the last component is the determinant of a the determinant of a is my non zero that means this is invertible so this option is correct now since this question is from the part c then how you can think about whether the part b is part c is correct or wrong again a very simple how you can think about that because now you have to think about the complex number fine so when you are talking about the complex number then you are unable to define whether it's a positive definite negative definite you are unable to think on this how you can think on it again a very simple which things come in your mind when you look about this equation which thing is come in your mind i hope all of you remember this one fine so what is the remaining side if i subtract minus xy minus yz minus zx fine that comes to be here now if i use like of this 
clear now clearly say when it will be zero if you prove that this value and this value should be same now which thing come in your mind which thing come in your mind when you are talking about the complex number that is the iota and anything which is uh, any relation which is sum of three quantities anything which is come in your mind relative to the complex number yes that's true you can think about one omega and omega square fine so if i take this is my value of the x this is my value of the y and this is my value of the z what will happen of the q q of this u will be one plus omega plus omega square and you all know value of this will be zero x into y omega y into z omega cube z into x omega square so what is the one plus omega plus omega square zero again this value is my one one plus omega plus omega square is a zero so yes there exist u this is the my u which belongs to my complex plane such that this value will be zero so that is also the right answer so c and d are my correct answer of this problem look at this so very simple just look about the complex number of this because i make them in the x plus y plus z so your target is to make them into such a relation which satisfied x plus y plus z and your target is to check whether it's a zero or not so i i target is this number should be equal to this number so the only way you can think about one omega omega so i hope you can learn this trick in this lecture if you want to find some more tricks you can simply scan and join my whatsapp group for the various discussions till now you can simply like share and comment on my video best of luck students happy learning